Hey y'all, so we're doing a mukbang because in this mukbang it's going to be a short little video and we're going to give you guys five things you should look out for before joining the army, okay? And of course I got my husband with me because he is in the army and he's going to give you guys some things you should look out for as we eat some crabs. I hope y'all can hear me. So, what's number one uh, that you look out for? Let me get this over here. First things first is uh, find your job. So, we picking jobs, MEPS, they're gonna try to force you to take a job that and say, hey, uh, you can always reclass. Oh. But, <laughs> Reclassing is harder than it, they make it seem. So when you reclass, for another job, you have to put a 4187 in, you have to put a packet in for it. You got your, your commander, your battalion, everybody has to have sure you look their up. hand in your pot pretty much for, uh, for whether or not <clears throat> you want to do that different job, whatever. So it's not the easiest process, right? And you have to have at least uh, two years or so. It's, it's a certain amount of time you have to have. So I'm open you. Let me make sure you can, they can hear you. You're good, baby. Okay. But um, you have to make good. sure. Thank you. You have to um, make sure that you're in for like a certain amount of time. I don't know what, what the actual time frame is, but you have to make sure you're in for a certain amount of time before you go to put that packet in. Um, and then they only take certain um, grades of rank. So uh, depending on what your job is, you can't maybe be an E5 or whatever. You have to be E4 promotable because you're only taking E4s or whatever the case may be. So that's number one. Um, What's number two? Give me a second. Let me oh. breathe. I'm trying to eat too. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, um, I want to hear it too. I'm like, what's number two? Because number one was pretty like, you did a good job. That's a, that was really detailed, babe. Yeah, okay. Well, number two, um, so obviously you got your job, but uh, make sure that when you, uh, when you get the basic, you don't need anything. So don't mess up like I did. Oh, wow. And bring like some really not like super expensive shoes, but I brought some maxes with me. Mm. I wore them, and the drill stars actually made me throw them away because I didn't have anywhere to put them. And weren't they like brand new? They were brand new, but brand new shoes, and he had to throw it away. Yeah, it's a, it was a, it was a really weird situation, but I don't need anything. They're gonna provide everything you need. And don't think, oh, um. They provide you Bobo shoes too? No, well, they're not even Bobo shoes, so. Oh, they give you, you like New Balance you, shoes? You automatically get, um, when you join, you get your check. You get like an advance on your check. Yeah, we're good, thank you. You get an advance on your check, and uh, you get it on this little card. Oh, the people. Chill out. You get a little advance on your card and they tell you that you have to buy certain shoes so you get fitted for running shoes so don't come and bring your own shoes because the army says you have to wear a certain type of shoe for all the running and stuff that you're going to do so they're going to fit you and they're going to make you pay for your own shoes but yeah it sucks no. like you go in and with money exactly. well, like i said you do get an advancement on your check so oh, that you yeah. can do these things that's nice. Okay. Um, same thing with hygiene and stuff like that. Um, That's pretty good. They make you buy all your hygiene and stuff like that. Like you can even have like personal stuff or whatever. Like, like if it's something that you actually need, but if they think it's contraband, it's going to get tossed out. So that was a little bit different though, though, uh, from when I was in. It might be. I might be different a little bit. Even when I went, 
for school. I went just I went to a different school at the same place that I had my basic training in. And um, the school I had messed with some of the um, some of the drill sergeants. Just talking with them and the way they do things are a little bit different. So you might want to be cognizant of that. It's not a whole lot different though, right? A whole lot different. It's a wow. Okay. Like they, a lot of times they don't do combatives anymore. Um, wearing a mask and social distancing and stuff like that. Oh with the yeah, and stuff like with that, that stuff yeah. too. I mean, things are changing now. Since Corona is kind of lifting in a way, but uh, yeah, that's about it. Um, I don't know about five things, but that's number one. That's number two. Um, what would you say, like, in regards to their pay? As like the third thing. Oh, so for your pay, right? Um, if you have family or a wife or something like back home. Make sure it's just somebody that you trust because you don't want. I've seen situations like I had battle buddies where uh, they don't have any money because their spouse is spending all their money and they didn't have money for like a haircut because you st you still have to pay for your haircut and you don't it's get your haircut the way you think you want your haircut like you're not gonna go there and get an all even fade or something like that like they're gonna bald your scalp but you still gotta pay that six bucks for it they really do and there were soldiers that didn't even have six dollars to their names because of um because <laughs> she'd be a real loud like <laughs> I know we have the restaurant, y'all, but it's like, jeez. We trying to do a muffin here. Uh, what was I saying? Okay. Make sure you, you trust oh, yeah. the person that you um, have, you know. Yeah. Because it's not a lot of times where you're going to be able to call back and pay a bill or pay anything like that. Like, make sure, like, all your finances are sort of being taken care of by someone that you trust at home. So, that's number three. Um, I don't know what else. MOS, picking an MOS. Well, that's your job. What are the main, what are like, are they like some top MOSs that people should really pick? I mean, I guess I can speak a little bit more about it. Um, because people be lying, saying, oh, mechanic and all this stuff. And it'd be like, no. So don't do a job that you don't see yourself doing on the outside when you get out. So I'm supplied. <clears throat> I'm supplied. So with supply, I can go to any kind of logistical job when I get out. So the training is something I get goes for the outside world. So take in mind, like if you want to be a police officer when you get out, do military police because you'll get that training and then they'll look highly upon you because you've got some training on how to be a military police or how to be a police officer in general. So you get some kind of training. Like for me, like I said, I'm supplier. I'm unit supply. There's two different supplies. There's unit supply and you have the alphas. I'm a Yankee and then like obviously army wise. I'm a Yankee, 92 series. And you got the alphas who work in the warehouse, which is cool, but I wouldn't want to be an alpha. That's just my personal preference. As a Yankee, I get to order stuff. I get to, I sit in the CP all day. I'm a, I'm a loggy. Um, I do get to get out and do different stuff like that, but... You get to order some good stuff. I order, I order good stuff like that or whatever. Um, you know, nice stuff or whatever, but... I think it's just... This is a personal preference. I'm really not trying to get too deep into the weeds with that one. Yeah. But, <clears throat> yeah, I, I like being where I'm at, so... If you if you like driving trucks, you see yourself driving trucks when you get out, then be a... Um, what is that? 91 Bravo or whatever. Be a wheel... <clears throat> uh, Three-wheeled or four-wheeled or whatever they call it. Some kind of wheel mechanic um, or military uh, truck driver or something like that. So I would say just make sure if you pick a job, pick a job that you're going to like. Don't let the MEPS people um, force, you to pick, yeah, force you to pick something because I almost picked being a, uh, a truck driver, but I had a brother who, uh, who knew somebody at MEPS and was like, no, you're not going to be a truck driver because you're going to hate that job. And yeah, they're telling you you're gonna freaking, you can reclass, but it's hard to reclass and you think. So never listen to that. Do a job that you wanna do. And if it's not there, then you can always come back. Don't let them think that you can't come back to MIPS. I went to MIPS 10 times. And it was over crazy stuff. 10 times. So, it was over crazy stuff. It was to the point where I was like, are you ever gonna get in? Like, 
because it became like an emotional thing for me like are they ever gonna send you to ba basic so i could just get that part over with because of course if you've been together for a hot minute then you go to basic basic is like months and it's like man can we just get this part over and done with but while you was talking another thing that i wanted to mention and i hope i they can't i hope you guys can't hear the music so i don't get copyrighted because <laughs> y'all know youtube be copywriting people for like nothing but um yeah another thing while you was talking is which would be the fifth thing because you had four things already so the fifth thing would be just making sure like to this is your career okay if you choose to do this as a career it's your career and you could say you know if you agree or not baby but it is your career don't have people try and force you to do something you're not comfortable with doing when it comes to moving forward and and retiring out of the military when it comes to um because there's different routes going warrant officer going captain or something like that do, do what you're comfortable with doing. Don't try and have somebody force you to go in a route because it's right for them, right? And, I, and I'm and i sure you can attest for that. Like, whatever he's comfortable with doing because this is his career, I'd rather him do regardless of, you know, the money and regardless of the things that, you know, the benefits and stuff, uh, depending on what rank you are. Just do what you're comfortable doing and what you love to do because... You don't want to be doing it, you know, for years to come and then you just like hate it. You hate doing it. You hate everything about it after some years go by because it's like, man, I wish I would have done this or you start regretting things. But that is the fifth, that is the fifth thing if you agree, babe. Yeah. Um, you agree. Especially when it comes down to your career. So, <clears throat> yeah, once you get in there, say, yeah, you can do whatever you want to do. You can reclass. You can do this and the third, but... Pick a job that you know you're gonna like, first off, when you get in. Then when you get in, there's multiple opportunities to do all kinds of classes. You can get a secondary MOS. You can you can do all kinds of other stuff. But get in, keep your nose clean, and be mature about it. Even if you're a single soldier and you don't have like a wife or a kid at home, trust me, you're gonna see some wild stuff. Everybody's seeing WTF army moments. That stuff is real. <laughs> so when you're, um, and um, just make sure you keep your nose clean because there's plenty of options. There's aerosol school, there's pathfinder school, there's diver school. You can be a, a trained diver. You can you can go and teach people how to do these things, how to be an aerosol um, qualified. You can be an instructor for that, airborne qualified, jump on the airplanes. Um, you can do all kinds of stuff out there. So don't let anybody limit you on what you want to do. Like if you want to do something, push yourself to do it. Put your packet in, keep your nose clean, and keep a, a good rapport with your uh, your commander and your your platoon sergeants and just pretty much your leadership. Just making sure that you're always being responsible and mature. Exactly. And on that note, you guys, this is the end of the mutt bang. Yes, We're about to go ahead. You're eating, baby, but he he's not eating like he really wants to. So we about to go ahead and jump into this bag and just kill the rest of these crabs and everything else that we got. But I hope you guys enjoyed this little mini mutt blank, mutt bang, mutt bang. I hope you guys really enjoyed this mutt bang. And yeah, those were more than five things. But I hope for you guys that are joining, thinking about joining the army, um, it's different in every branch, but I hope for you guys thinking about joining the army that you guys have, you know, were able to see these tips as useful. And like I said, thank you so much for tuning into this mukbang mukbang video, mukbang video, and we'll see you guys in the next video.